Michael B. The Game Genie here, and today on Game Genie Reviews, we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Arcade 1 Up Pinball. It's Clobber in Time. So guys, I spent a little bit of money recently and picked up not just the Attack from Mars Arcade 1-Up Pinball, but also the Marvel Pinball, which I had no intention of doing originally, as these games are based on Zen Original Creations and do not recreate classic pinball tables. But I'm a big Marvel guy, and my FOMO got the best of me, as it usually does. So today we're going to take an in-detail look at the Marvel Arcade 1-Up Pinball and find out how these games translate to Arcade 1-Up's at-home virtual pinball table. The Marvel Arcade 1-Up Pinball Table was a surprise announcement during the Summer of Gaming event where most people anticipated the release of the previously leaked Universal Pinball Table. When I originally saw it, as a Marvel fan, of course I was somewhat excited, but I had been taking a pretty hard line on what my expectations were for at-home pinball, and I wanted that experience to be more like Arcade 1-Up's actual arcade offerings that were based on recreating the look and gameplay of original arcades, hence why I gravitated to Attack from Mars. As the release date slowly crept up, in Canada, my FOMO started to get the best of me and the amazing availability tempted me to go against my original mindset and place an order for the Marvel table. I decided to at least buy the games and try them on Steam first to make sure I would enjoy them before spending $900 Canadian on the table. After playing for a few short hours, my love of Marvel and the awesome pinball experience Zen Studios provided won and I decided to order the Marvel table as well. Fast forward to just over a week and the Marvel Arcade 1-Up Pinball has arrived and was built and displayed in my game room, and it looks pretty sharp, doesn't it? I would typically discuss the build quality next, but I went into extremely high detail on that with my Attack from Mars review, and these cabinets are essentially identical outside of the art and included games. If you want to hear my thoughts on the build quality of these cabinets in detail, you can go back and watch that video that I am extremely proud of. Or, if you want to save time, I'll just say this. Maybe the best machine Arcade 1-Up has ever built and blurs the line between real machine and at-home toy. With that out of the way, let's talk about the art on the table, and this one is a little more challenging for me to discuss than usual, as I typically grade the Arcade 1-Up artwork based on how they recreated the original arcade artwork into their three-quarter scale model, but seeing as none of these games are based on original pinball tables, they had no original artwork to go off, so came up with this design from scratch. I was concerned about adding this pinball table to my arcade for this very reason, as all the arcades in there are recreations of originals, and I was concerned this more modern and not authentic design would throw off the feel of the room, but I am happy to report that is not the case at all. Unlike the Attack from Mars cabinet where the art was focused on a specific game on the cabinet, the Marvel table decided to go with more of a multi-cade style theme based off the most popular Marvel characters and has a good representation of characters featured in the games. The characters all look amazing and are super high detail, but to be honest, I would prefer they look more like they did in the 80s and 90s, of course because it would better fit the theme of my arcade and I also want them to look like they did when I was most into Marvel comics, but sometimes I need to remind myself I am 40 and that comics aren't drawn to appeal to me. The art on the side of the body of the table is great and actually different on each side with the left featuring an iteration of the Avengers and the right featuring an iteration of the X-Men. I actually really dig the way the characters are laid out on the sides and the space galaxy theme in the background is also awesome looking and fits the cabinet so well. As we move around to the front of the cabinet, it's maybe a little disappointing for some as the art stops and we have a plain black front panel with minimal branding. We do, however, have the same faux coin door, button, and plunger placement that looks so good on the Attack from Mars cabinet. I mentioned the metallic borders around the top of the cab and screen in my last review, and again these look fantastic here and really add to the pinball experience. Moving to the back box, and once again, they maintain the multi k design by having different art on each side panel, with one featuring the Fantastic Four, which is a great game on the cabinet, and the other featuring Thor, whose game is also on the cabinet, and Iron Man, that I guess is in the Civil War game. Just wait, we will come back to some of the displayed character choices in a minute. 
The entire back box has this chrome molding that really makes the art and features of the cabinet pop and ties in with the metal borders and metal legs. The bottom section of the back box features the two excellent 3 inch speakers and the DMD. The top of the back box features the beautiful static backlit back panel. That's a lot of back. As I mentioned in my Attack from Mars review, the light distribution is fantastic on this panel with no visible hotspots. The art features the iconic Marvel logo with the three sections above featuring the iconic Captain America on one side, my favorite Spider-Man in the middle, and surprisingly Wolverine is on the right side, which is an awesome touch seeing how he is in multiple games on the cabinet. And that brings me to my only real critique about the art, is there are some characters on the cabinet that aren't really represented by a game on the table. Probably most egregious is Captain America is prominently displayed on the back box despite his game not appearing on the cabinet. Other than that, I think they have done a great job creating a cabinet that will appeal to a lot of Marvel fans and won't look out of place in many of our arcades and game rooms. I really like the look of this pinball table, and while it isn't a recreation of an original table, it still looks really good, especially stood next to another arcade 1 pinball machine. Now let's take a look at the included games, and let's be honest, these were designed to play on either a PC or a TV, and find out how they perform on the arcade 1 at home machine. Talking about how the cabinet performs is again kind of repeating what I discussed in my last video, as the machine is essentially the same with all the same quirks such as the dead spot in the plunger pullback and there being no volume indication on screen when adjusting the volume with the switch on the faux control panel. I suggest you go back and watch that video if you want further detail in those areas, but with this video we will be discussing how these specific games perform in the cabinet compared to the attack from Mars. Why I think there is a difference is that the games on this cabinet are original Zen creations designed to work on one of their platforms as compared to the games on the Attack from Mars cabinet which were based on real pinball tables. First thing I want to say that all the games control exceptionally well with no problems with flip or leg or any hindrances stopping me from enjoying the pinball experience. Essentially these games play just as well on this cabinet as they do on a PC or other device. I know that this is probably just in my mind, but it feels like the solenoids are much more responsive in this cabinet compared to the Attack from Mars cabinet. Maybe it's just the way the game is designed, but when playing Spider-Man, I can really feel those knockers. One thing I had some difficulty with in terms of control on this cabinet was the accelerometer and nudging the ball. I can't say if it is me or the machine, honestly, but I am having a much more difficult time getting this table to register a nudge compared to my Attack from Mars cabinet. I received some feedback after my last review that said less was more and I only had to slightly hit the table to get the nudge to activate, but so far I have not been super successful. I am not really much of a nudge player, so not a huge deal for me, but I stress again, I wish they had included nudge buttons as a failsafe. The screen again is a point of contention amongst people who have experienced the table, with many saying the colors appear washed out and the graphics aren't as sharp as they should be. I personally have no issue with the vibrancy of the screen or the color contrast and think everything looks pretty good. Of course this table uses more 3D computer generated or as some call them video game graphics compared to how I play the Attack from Mars table with these off, so those graphical concessions appear more noticeably. On the Thor table for example, the 3D characters on screen don't look nearly as sharp and detailed as they do on a PC or modern consoles, but by no means do they look bad, and honestly from the distance away from the playfield you should be playing at, this should not be noticeable. While I am playing, I am immersed in the whole experience and haven't noticed any of the issues people are talking about unless I go out of my way to try and see them. I'm not saying that they aren't there, but it's not something that takes away from my enjoyment of the table. Another issue people have raised about these tables is the screen is too small, and I really did not find that to be true with the Attack from Mars table, and I don't think it's completely true on the Marvel table too, but with an asterisk. You see, the screen size is fine and it fits the cabinet well, it's just that these games are designed with a flat perspective in mind, and the front and back of the playfields usually do not extend to the end of the screen. With some tables on the Marvel Pinball, they lose a small amount of playfield in the front to accommodate graphics, but the biggest loss is towards the back of the cabinet where almost 15-20% to of the screen is taken up with the back pieces designed to add depth and host the 3D rendered characters. The effect of this is the playfield shrinks to 80%, which isn't a huge deal, but but everything else shrinks as well to scale specifically the flippers and the ball making the experience seem tiny where it really shouldn't be. 
Probably the best example of this is the A-Force table, which is actually a pretty dope game, but man those flippers seem small, and the ball seems microscopic moving around on the table. Most tables, such as Spider-Man, it isn't nearly as noticeable, and play well, but the ball never comes to being as big as the ball in the Attack from Mars cabinet, which in my opinion is the right size for this screen. My wife, who I thought would love this Marvel cabinet, has openly said she likes it, but the ball is too small and hard to follow. I don't 100% agree with her, and I'm loving my playing experience, but there is no denying the ball gets a tad too small on certain tables. Even though it's small, it's still playable and certainly very enjoyable, just maybe bring your glasses. I mentioned the size issues with the DMD in my last video and don't want to rehash that here, but I do want to talk about how responsive the DMD is to the in-game actions and some of the very, very cool on-screen extras add so much to the experience. I find myself getting lost in what's happening on the DMD at times when I should be paying attention to what's on the screen. I like it a lot. With all that out of the way, let's talk about the games included because they are the real stars of the show. I have to say that I find myself playing this table and these games as much or more than the Williams table which I never would have expected before they arrived. This table comes with 10 games out of the Zen Pinball Marvel Library. I am most familiar with a lot of the games from the Season 1 bundle I just purchased like Spider-Man which has become my go-to game on this cabinet. Of course the web crawler has always been my favorite Marvel superhero and I'm most familiar with his rogue gallery so that is what draws me to this game. What gets me to stay is the excellent gameplay and table design that has me non-stop trying to improve my scores. I am also absolutely in love with Thor and the gameplay and extras are so video gamey but yet so much fun and it has absolutely changed my opinion on how I want to enjoy pinball. I have always been a big Wolverine fan, so the X-Men and Wolverine tables also grab my attention, and lucky for me, they are also excellent and really fun to play. Just seeing how much fun those four tables alone are makes me feel really good about this purchase, and we still have another six games to play. Out of all 10 games, there's really only one that I am not all that crazy about, and that is Civil War. It just doesn't feel fun to me, but maybe with experience and familiarizing myself with the rules of the table, my view will change. Overall, I'm a pretty big fan of these games, but I want to let you kind of get an idea of what they are like for yourselves. So let's take a quick look at some gameplay from all 10 tables. Don't let me 
So guys, that's my take on the Marvel Arcade 1-Up at Home Virtual Pinball Table. To no one's surprise, I'm very impressed with the look and design of this cabinet. Despite this not being based on a classic pinball table, it still looks extremely cool in your game room. What I was surprised by was how much I liked the gameplay, because some of it can be considered to be very video gamey at times, but the pinball experience is still super fun and very addicting. Now, to be fair, this cabinet does doesn't come without its flaws, so people looking for a highly detailed graphical experience may be very disappointed. And the nudge feature leaves a lot to be desired. But for Marvel fans looking for a fun pinball experience, this cabinet plays very well and leaves my spider senses tingling. Let me know guys what you think of the Arcade 1 Up Marvel at Home Virtual Pinball Table in the comments and thank you very much for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie. And I'll talk to you next time.